What's going on dudes, it's Chris, and you're watching the second half of a domination gameplay I got the other day. I played with some friends of mine, um, wasn't really caring about my kill death ratio, I actually wasn't going for a gameplay in all, at all, to be honest with you, um, but I was kind of caring about winning, because we were playing against some dudes that were really trying hard, you know, the overpowered submachine guns, guardians on the flag so you couldn't cap them, three people on a flag at once, they'd cap really quickly, smoke, smokes and stuff, you know what I mean, like, they were really, do they were, I'm not bashing or anything like that, because I was kind of trying hard too. But, um, you know, a few people on my team were just going for sniper clips and stuff like that. And that's cool. I don't care. But, um, yeah, so just kind of cool story. And we were losing for the majority of this, but something kind of happens toward the end. Kind of a cool twist. Speaking of cool twists, Twilight. Yeah, I just said it. Oh, dislike. I hate Twilight. Vampires, sparkle, and werewolves, and stuff, and romance, and this and that, etc. So, let's talk about why Twilight is for chicks, Okay. So, there's this huge stereotype that if you see Twilight, or if you like Twilight, if you do anything Twilight-related in general, you're pretty much gay, okay? Now, first of all, I'm married to a female, okay? So that doesn't apply to me. Unless, I suppose, she was a cover-up and I just, I'm super gay and I'm just using her to, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> no, but I wanted to talk about uh, Twilight being for dudes and stuff because since I've been talk since I've been dating Kelly, which is almost coming up on three years actually, um, yeah, three years in a couple days now, pretty awesome. Anyways, so um, she she was a really big Twilight fan right before I met her. Not so much when I met her; she's kind of fading out of it. But she read all the books. She read she reads a ton, which is awesome because she's smart. She reads a lot of books. I don't. But um, yeah, so she really liked the Twilight series, you know, she was like, you know what, these are actually pretty good books. She didn't really care for the whole sparkling vampires or anything like that. She wasn't drawn in like this, the average teenage girl, like, oh yeah, I wish I had Edward and, and the, the guys that turned into wolves and this and that. She just kind of liked the storyline from the, the movies. So I was like, you know what, fine, I'll entertain you if you want to see the movie when it comes out. We went and saw it. And I was like, okay. So I saw my first Twilight movie. I was like, what do I think of this? Well, there was a couple couple fight scenes. I was like, okay, you know, I can dig that. Kind of like mutants fighting each other. You got a freaking vampire versus a freaking werewolf. Whatever else you have and, and whatnot, right? I'm like, yeah, I can dig that. That's that's pretty cool stuff. But then you get into the scenes where they start doing close-ups on this dude that's like topless for the entire movie. And a few kind of lovey-dovey romantic scenes that are like very unrealistic. And you're just kind of shaking your head. You're like, that doesn't happen in real life. And that's when you realize that that's why guys call this a chick flick. And if you watch it, you're gay and this and that. So I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can still bear it. And when you have a girlfriend or significant other, wife, whatever it may be, you do things like sacrifices and stuff. And you know, you give it a shot. So I gave it a shot, and I was like, you know what? In the end of the day, there were a few things that I didn't really like about this first Twilight movie I saw, but there were also a few things that I did like, and I didn't really give a shit I was getting judged, because I, well, I would walk in the theater, and uh, there is, like, you know, your standard group of douchebags that hang out of the movies with, like, their sideways hats, big-ass V-necks going down to their belly buttons and sagged pants, and they're sitting there judging you like, oh, we're going to see a new Terminator movie, even though there hasn't been a new Terminator movie for ages now. Whatever they were seeing, you know, and they'd watch you walk into like the Twilight Theater and start judging. You could just feel it be like, oh, I hate this. And at first, I'm not going to lie, I was like kind of like offended. And then Kelly started talking to me. She's like, Chris, they're going to the movie theater with like three dudes. You're going with a chick. What's that look like, huh? No, but seriously, I'm not one to play like the I'm getting laid card and you're not. But I just feel like, you know, I don't really give a shit. And that's when I started to realize who gives a shit what they think because it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change my movie experience. You know, and Kelly and I are both movie buffs. We watch like friggin' every good movie that comes out. You name it, we've seen it. If you follow me on Twitter, you'd know that we see a movie like once every week or so. And I'm, I'm always tweeting pictures and whatnot at the theaters because we go at the most random times. There's nobody else in the theater. We're like, yes, it's all ours. But seriously, back on the topic of Twilight being for uh, females only. I don't know. I, I really feel like the books are one thing compared to the movies. And the movies are just another thing completely. Because as Kelly said, she's she's read both the books and seen the movies. And she says, you know, the books are made specifically, like, strictly for females. They're made for the chick who's lonely and feels like, oh, I, I'm just like Bella. I'm going to go have a vampire that can read everybody's minds except for mine. And he's going to go find me. And I'm special. And it's going to happen to me. And that's just the way they think. And that the movies are definitely marketed towards them. But the movies, on the other hand, have way more cool fight scenes. At least this last one had a really wicked fight scene. I, I Honestly, best fight scene I've seen all year. And I'm not going to lie. I really feel like if some guys were to go and watch that, uh, just the fight scene, they would become fans because it was really freaking awesome. The, the head's getting ripped off and just like the twist at the end. It was a good freaking movie. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed it. Um, the books, however, no way could a guy enjoy those unless there was a... I, I, I don't, I'm not going to judge, but you know what I'm talking about. I just... 
I feel differently about the movies. That's all I'm saying. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully, if you want to see the new Twilight movie, you're thinking about it. Don't care if your friends judge you or call you gay for it. It was a good movie. Go see it. If you enjoyed this video, you should tap that like button. All it takes a couple seconds. I would appreciate it greatly. So thanks to everybody that does that. Um, also, if you want to suggest uh, new topic recommendations in the comment section below, what you want me to do my next commentary on, go ahead and do that. I'm going to end this video with uh, an epic comeback. By the way, in case you didn't see that, we're playing against Tryhards. I end this video with my friend Raging, and I'll uh, bitch for a while. See you next time, guys. Who the fuck Ooh, are you guys man. calling campers right now? Oh, the guys who are sitting up in fucking windows with snipers. The only dude oh, exactly, you uh, motherfuckers were doing the same shit. Don't even fucking say a goddamn thing, motherfucker. You sexy beast.